today it's an enormous privilege to be here at St Nicholas's Prep School in the heart of Accra in your wonderful country of Ghana and it is to Madame Deborah that I thank for inviting us here today. My name is Ben Goss, I come from the United Kingdom. A few years ago, I founded this fledgling charity, the Chaffinch Trust. Our aim is to encourage even greater collaboration and cooperation between charities and organizations that serve people who live in disadvantaged areas. We've just come up from Village by Village, which is a charity to enhance the lives of children out in the country. And tomorrow, we go to Malawi. We'll stop off in Kenya. We then go to South Africa and to KwaZulu-Natal, and then back to home, which is Scotland. My name is Susie Belcher. I am part of the Chaffinch management team. I have been so ever since its inception 18 months ago in Scotland with my good friend Ben Goss. And we are absolutely overwhelmed by the fantastic work that everybody is doing to relieve situations that are not so uh, comfortable to, to be talking about. There is a desperate need for aid and assistance from every single person. And I think it's essential that this comes out and everybody do their bit in corporate responsibility. I think it's really essential to try and get uh, the, the people, that are, the companies that are working in Ghana to try and do their bit as well. Why do you want to learn? And you will have a better life, yes? Yes? But you have to smile, be happy. My name is Brian Kelly. I've come all the way from Canada to join the Chaffinch Trust Group um, to do a little bit of an evaluation on projects here in, in Africa and particularly in Ghana. Well, my first impressions about my visit here to uh, St. Nicholas is that it is very, very welcoming. The people are welcoming and uh, it seems to be a great environment for the children to learn. They all seem to be adapting well. They seem to be very happy and uh, can't have a better opportunity to learn than that. My name is Jane Reynolds. I learnt about the Chaffinch Trust from my cousin, Ben Goss. He inspired me to get involved. They have been lovely, articulate, well-trained, wonderful singing. <laughs> um, and I, I have thoroughly enjoyed the displays they put on for us. And I think the teachers must be doing a very good job here, considering those children come from their homes, which may be quite poor and impoverished around here, come to a place like this for the day and then go back home. Um, that's uh, very sobering for us. I am completely overwhelmed by St Nicholas. I think it's a complete oasis in the middle of such terrible squalor outside the gate. Here you come into these wonderful buildings, um, clean, brightly painted, and then the children and the teachers just take your breath away. I think they're a complete inspiration. The St. Nicholas School Project is a fantastic idea. I think that anybody who's interested in giving the most um, deprived children in any country an opportunity to have an education is really thinking about the welfare of that country. And along those lines, I think that 
Um, what do we, we are already seeing developing in the St. Nicholas project is something that really will enhance the quality of these children's lives and the lives of their families. Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us for his good and love mankind. Amen. Amen. St. Nicholas is an astonishing school with significant potential. But this potential will be harnessed by the people who work here. The buildings are fabulous, but it is the energy, the passion, the drive, the enthusiasm of the staff, the trustees, the people who run this school that will make it an enormous success, but they will work with many different organizations, the government, other charities here in Ghana, and charities and organizations across the world. Very, very special school. And what makes it special? The students, the children. for my party from the Chaffinch Trust to be here. A few hours ago we were out in the country with the charity Village by Village and now to be here at a dearest friend's school, Madame Deborah, she should be so proud of everything that she sees before her. So I now would like to inspect these wonderful people. Thank you again for this greatest of honours. Let's go. Recently, we've had an enormous amount, a monumental amount of interest from different organizations to support what we're trying to do. From telemedicine, which is based in London and run by Lord Swinford, to Sight Savers, which is a global organization, to other organizations like Save the Children, Rotary International, the International Red Cross Red Crescent, numerous different partners who we will blend into helping when there is a need. My name's Andrew Cowderoy, I've come from London um, with Ben Goss and the rest of the Chaffinch Trust. I've been working in the maritime industry um, and I've been working with Ben in the Chaffinch Trust for the last few months. My impressions of St Nicholas have been incredibly welcoming, warm and the fact that the children are enjoying themselves, um, having a fantastic time is, is very heartwarming, very nice to see. Um, and I just hope that everybody else in the expansion of the property will give the opportunity for everybody else to have this, those, that same joy in this little oasis among such poverty. The trust is run by people with a passion. I have a management team of about a dozen. These people come from across the globe. I am presently retired, but I spend most of my time uh, working with Habitat for Humanity in Canada and in internationally and I'm really looking forward to this part of the trip as well as what's to come for us. The St. Nicholas project will benefit the people of Tema Newtown in so many different ways and I think the most fundamental way in which it will benefit them is by giving them an education because giving them an education gives them an opportunity at life. There is people from Kenya, another person who is based in Oman, in Jordan, people from Britain, all believing in the concept of encouraging even greater cooperation and collaboration for people who live in disadvantaged areas, not only in 
Accra, not only in Lilongwe, in Malawi, not only in KwaZulu-Natal, but home in Britain, in areas where people survive, different sort of survival to the people here, but they survive in areas of disadvantage. And by people coming together, the joy will be even more is accomplished. Royal Majesty's residence, Ni Aje Krako II. But let me take this opportunity to introduce ourselves. If I may start from the extreme left, is Ni Abu Dade Hamli, one of our traditional priests. Next to him is the chief traditional priest, Ni Ashibwe Kofi II. He is Ni Ajeti Abu, he is Aman Kralo. He asks, in the absence of the chief, this is Ni Chuoko. He is the custodian of all the two properties. One of our warriors, Nadi Dekuma the second. Ni Shipiyama is my name. Then now, overall, His Royal Majesty Osoma Dr. Laji Ni Ajie Kraku the second. Thank you very much for introducing all these very distinguished guests. I am Namalitu. <coughs> No, 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 no. Well, I can't even say it, so uh, yet to be installed, though. Yet to be installed. <laughs> I'm waiting to be installed. You know? <laughs> okay. And uh, it is my great pleasure to bring uh, these guests that have come from many different countries, from Canada, uh, from Kenya, from Scotland, from uh, United Kingdom. And they have come uh, to learn more about Ghana and to help uh, in, in various villages, they, ha they are running a, um, a number of charities and uh, we are very uh, grateful for them spending some time in their very short itinerary here in Ghana. And again, thank you for uh, agreeing to um, host this meeting. This name is a son of very good omen. I wish you all the best. It's very scarce, but if you put it around your neck, wherever you go, People will see that you've been to a royal home. Thank you very much. We are here to learn about your country. But the Chaffinch Trust is an organization that has been newly founded by myself and a group of friends. It has wonderful encouragement, and it is simply to enable even more collaboration and cooperation between organizations and charities so that they work in harmony and achieve even more for people in Ghana, in Great Britain, who live in disadvantaged areas. Thank you for inviting myself and my, my colleagues into your home and into your country. Thank you. My name is Brian Kelly and I am the person who came from Canada. Privileged to be here with you and uh, I too am looking forward to seeing what we might be able to do together. It's my first visit to Ghana and I'm just extremely excited by the people I've met. They've been so friendly and so inviting. I'm almost feeling like I'm at home without the snow. My name's Joanne and I'm Deborah's cousin. This is my first time in Ghana 
and one of the things that I've come here to do is help her to develop St Nicholas Proprietary School and I've worked in charities in the UK for a long time so I have quite a lot of good experience that we can put into the school and help her to raise some funds to help develop the school. Hello, my name is Susie. I'm the African from Kenya and I'm very honoured to come to a different part of Africa and to see how I can help with things in Ghana. I'm very impressed with Ghana. I love the people here and I'm very happy to be here, so thank you for inviting me. My name's Andrew. I come from Scotland. I would like to thank you all very much for the hospitality that you've already shown. Since arriving in Ghana, I've been welcomed very warmly throughout the entire trip, been touched by all your people, and I look forward to learning more and more. I've already learned a lot, so thank you again. My name is Jane Reynolds, and I'm also a member of the Chaffinch Trust, and uh, it's my first time in Ghana, and I have been very impressed with the friendliness of the, the people and your welcome to us. You have been most kind. And we have been up into the countryside of Ghana, which is very beautiful. And you have a rich resource there of the, with the natural vegetation. Again, there are things that we can help with there, as well as possibly here um, with St. Nicholas School. Um, and we, we are interested to see your needs and at the same time respect your traditions and empower you to do more to help yourselves. Thank you. I am a member of I am a member of the Ghana Olympic Committee. I am the president of the Ghana Olympic Committee and I have done a bit of work with, with with Deborah, but I was really excited about what is going on in the school in Tema Newtown. This is my third visit to the school and every time I come I see great strides in, in what is going on. I see great strides in the eyes of the children and for me um, the, the, the decision to try to include sport into the, 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 the curriculum here is, is why I'm here today. It's a really exciting thing for me and I hope that it comes to fruition. So thank you. We would like to honor you. We have a way of honoring people of substance. That is our traditional way of giving honor to the deserving ones. This is a replica of the stool. This is our symbol of authority. We present this to you. Whenever you see it, then you know you're going, you're going to Ghana and read the tema. Great joy when you heard you were in the company of our own sister here who has contributed tremendously in uplifting our image education wise. Uh, we found ourselves in a very disadvantaged position. Why do I say this? We lost all our lands to central government to enable government to open another gateway to Ghana. In the circumstance, we have to be relocated from our ancestral home to our present location. In the midst of that, we lost all our farmlands, and that contributed immensely to the fall of education in Tema, because our only source of livelihood lied in farming and then fishing. So income generation became a problem that reduced our you know, uh, education standards. So we were fortunate to have gotten Madame and then Captain Kappas to have come to our aid. So when we heard you are on a similar mission and you are in their company, we were filled with joy and that gave us hope that uh, you will be able to assess the, assess the needed resources to do the more than she has done. So it's a pleasure to see you here. We hope that uh, soon after you leave, we will see the impact of your visit through Madame. You are welcome again. <laughs>
Without any impediment. Nisa, I'm going to say, I want to question from one, two. I'm going to say, 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 I'm